Welcome back. U.S.-China trade tensions. Global markets taking a hit this morning as investors focus on the stalemate. Joining us right now is the Bonson Group Managing Partner and Chief Investment Officer, David Bonson. Good to see you, David. Good to see you. So are we in just a, a moment or an extended period of market volatility and declines because of this uncertainty? We are. I think that what investors have to deal with is the tension between short-term, the uncertainty is likely to persist, and you get volatility, both up and down, as we've seen in the last few weeks. We're only down 2.5% since this whole thing started. But um, that's because we had about a 3, 4, 5% drop and then a 2% recovery. We're going to bounce around. The problem is intermediate term, I think most investors, myself included, expect there will be resolution and people are deathly afraid of missing what ends up being a kind of bounce back. Because if you take this off the table, there's plenty of reason to be bullish. Uh, I'm wondering, as we look at the downside, uh, so people are saying, oh, maybe these tariffs stay in for a while. This is a long-term deal. But what about... uh, and this is maybe separate from trade, maybe not, uh, the issue of cutting off technology to companies like Huawei, saying you can't buy U.S. chips. If that uh, becomes the policy Mm -hmm. that we're not selling our best semiconductors to Chinese manufacturers, what is the economic downside there? Does does, uh, Samsung market share just surge and other players pop up immediately, or, or is that a big sort of unaccounted for cost here? A lot of it depends on how long something like that could kick in. You require, you remember the issues with ZTE about a year ago, yep. and the administration kind of folded on it. But see, the right now there's a lot of posturing and flexing, and you see different companies in the supply chain are getting pummeled. The, the, but I don't think they're pricing in that it's going to be permanent. That would be far more significant. So the issue really becomes if it's transitory or if it's going to become systemic. It would not necessarily be a macroeconomic event, but it would be high Highly sensitive to that sector, it would behoove investors to become defensive. But the problem with that is, you can get defensive, sell these positions right now. They end up working something out in three weeks or three months, <laughs> right. and all of a sudden you miss 25 percent. So investors just have to operate within their risk parameters here, uh, because you get dramatic on one side or the other, you're going to get whipped around. Mm-hmm. But also, though, how much is the president's messaging hurting all of yeah. this? Because you see him flip from trade wars are good and easy to win to then just saying tariffs in a, of themselves yeah. are a positive good. Is that rattling markets? I'm not sure if it's rattling markets. It's rattling me. That's uh, because, <laughs> because I really believe that there's a lot of good things he's doing that we can get to a good place with it here and that the lasting damage will be some of the rhetoric because it just isn't true trade wars are easy to win. It isn't true that the U.S. is paying them. So you can get to a good outcome in the end there. But then the problem is we've sort of made reprotectionist the Republican Party and I don't think that's good long term. So I, I agree with what you're saying, I see. I, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the long-term impact ends up being. Yeah, but, he, but look, chicken tax, the import tariff on imported light trucks in this country, it's 25 percent. It's been in place since the mid-60s. And you know what? President Trump looks at that and says, we have a vibrant, <laughs> that's the area of our auto business that is the strongest right now and has been for decades. So again, that that's hard to argue with. I don't I, like I don't think it. it is hard to argue with. I think that if we really believed that those tariffs were a good thing, then why why don't we just want a far larger tariffs on every product? Well, maybe the president Those does. things have been baked. Maybe that's the fear. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I, I can assure you the market does not believe right now that the president actually is going forward with all those tariffs long term. Well, let's, let's not forget, yeah. Lighthizer is now working on a free trade agreement with Japan. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. David, I, thank you. Great insights from you. David Bonson will be my special guest this weekend on Marie Bartomo's Wall Street tomorrow night, Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. So join us. We'll be right back.